guys, this is super easy. Um, just start with making whatever you want to fill up with blood. Uh, I just made a little pit here out of insulation foam, you know, your typical blue insulation foam. I hit it with a hammer uh, to get the cracks into it. Took out my pit, you know, and just pulled out pieces so it looks nice and random. Painted it up, and now we're ready to fill it with the blood. Um, I'm using a two-part resin, a clear resin I got from Hobby Lobby. Hold on, let's try this one. You can see, easy cast. Um, read your directions, it'll uh, teach you how to do it a lot better than I can. Just make sure you use equal parts and mix it up really well. So I already measured my resin out. We're actually going to pour in two layers. So just mix enough that you think will fill half of your area. So I mix that up. I'm actually going to put in some acrylic paint while I'm mixing. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of red and a little bit of burgundy so it's a deeper color. Um, and I'm just using the cheap acrylic folk art paints. You get them for like 99 cents a bottle. Um, just a quick note while I'm doing this, if you're making a well um, or, you know, a, man, a more man-made structure that's using hand-placed bricks, be really careful that there's no cracks between your, your bricks um, because this stuff will seep through and it'll just leak all over your piece. So you don't want to ruin everything you just worked at. So. Just keep that in mind. Make sure everything's sealed nice and tight and it's not going to ooze out all over the place. So I don't know if you can see. That's my resin mixed in with the paint. So it's nice and consistent. It just looks like red goo. So we're going to pour that into our first layer, like I said. Only about halfway um, because we're going to pour a second layer over the top to make our bubbles kind of meld into the little lake here. I think that's about good. Smooth that out a little bit with a stick. And of course it looks like I think cut the bottom of this real even so it's flung more towards this side. I'm going to prop that up while it's going to dry here. Mm, with what? More foam probably. I'll end up putting this on a base too so hopefully that'll kind of hide the fact that I didn't do a good cut job. All right, that looks pretty good. Kind of filled it up a little fuller than I was expecting. So I'm actually gonna take a little spoon here and scoop some out. It's just the spoon I uh, was measuring my resin with. Cause yeah, I'm real precise with that. <gasps> Not terrible. Now we're just going to let this set up and dry so it's nice and hard before we add our bubbles and the last layer. Alright guys, we're ready for phase two. Um, my resin is nice and dry, hard as a rock. Um, real lifetime, it's been about 24 hours. 
check your packaging to see how long it has to dry. It shouldn't have to be that long. Um, I've just been busy with work and stuff. So phase two, get my shim back under there. We're going to mix up a little bit more resin, not too much since we already have it halfway full. And this time I'm not going to mix any paint into it. It's just going to be clear. What we're going to do is lay a little thin layer to kind of help keep our beads in place. Don't need to do too much because we will be going back over this. Alright, so this is just going to act like a glue when we put our beads on, they won't roll around so much. So for my bubbles, I have these little plastic beads. Couldn't even tell you where I had got them. I've had them for so long. But I'm going to pick out the red ones. Because you will see the color through the resin. So whatever color you're filling your picked or well with. Make sure your beads match. I don't think yellow bubbles are going to look real good with red. And you just want to make sure the whole of the bead is kind of to the side right now. Right here and right here. You don't want them sticking up to the top because you'll see that. and That will impress no one. Just randomly add those around. I have some big ones, I have some small ones. We have all our beads in there. We're going to pour some more resin over the top so they don't look like they were just placed in. They're actually coming up from the bottom. Hopefully they won't roll around on me too much. Move it around to get all my corners. Okay, now the color is a little flat. Um, so what we're gonna do? Take some more paint. Have some squirted out here on a tray. I'm going to load some up on this stick and swirl it around. We're not going to mix it all the way. We're going to leave it swirly so that gives a little bit of interest to the area. Just have some red, some burgundy, and some black. Give it a variety.
Alright, I think that's about good. Now we just let it dry. Move this bubble. Um, we're gonna let it dry. I'll base it and I'll let you see what it's like when it's done.